Now I've got another Cisco antenna here for us to uh, take a look at. That uh, should be interesting. Um, you can't quite see it because it's whited out with the lights here, but it is a Cisco antenna. And um, I clicked on this and I, I just saved it in eBay. The uh, seller got in uh, contact and offered me a discount, so I ended up purchasing it. I wasn't going to purchase it originally, but uh, he let me have it for three pounds and uh, two pounds fifty shipping. Uh, it is quite a big antenna. It is the uh, ANT2430VR. If uh, you want to look this particular antenna up, but. Uh, What's um, interesting about this antenna is it's pretty big, but it's only 2.5 dB of gain. Now, we don't have to uh, take this an antenna to pieces. Uh, we've actually got to construct it before we can test it, but uh, we don't have to take it to pieces to uh, understand what kind of antenna um, element they're using in this uh, particular model, because we have them here in this bag. And this antenna consists of three simple monopoles so here it is uh, on the bench then it is a uh, bit of a beast to say it's only uh, 2.5 uh, db of gain but uh, i've connected it up to the uh, center uh, monopole on this antenna and it's looking very nice on the network analyzer so here we are then on the network analyzer and we're scanning from uh, 1.5 gigahertz over here all the way up to 3 gigahertz over here and I've got the cursor on the best uh, point on that frequency response here and for 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi this monopole is virtually spot on you can see 2.42 2.41 going down there 2.47 and then it's quite wide here until it starts going back up again at around uh, 2.5 gigahertz there so yeah very very nice frequency response so it looked quite nice on the uh, network analyzer and you know that's to be expected from uh, an antenna from uh, cisco uh, by the way this is designed to be uh, mounted on the ceiling with the little monopoles pointing downwards and because it's such a uh, low um you know powered uh, unit just uh, not a great deal of dbm it's probably used just to uh, cover uh, dead spots in an office environment or a school or something like that just to get a uh, an extra kick in uh, areas where the Wi-Fi is a little bit weak so let's take a look at the inside I'm not expecting much from this probably just one plain sheet of ground plane made out of uh, aluminium but um, I think we can just uh, pop this off with a spudger and possibly just remove these uh, Phillips screws as well so we have indeed just a uh, simple ground plane, one piece of uh, aluminium. It's probably uh, two millimetres thick, maybe three millimetres. And we've got this protective plate on here held on with screws. You don't need to remove that to uh, get in there. So yeah, about as simple as it gets really. And we've got a date here as well. So it was made on the 3rd of the 5th, 2010. And those fingerprints are from uh, whoever assembled this in the factory and here is uh, one of the little monopoles i'm wanting to take one of these apart just so i can get an accurate measurement of the length of this monopole here because obviously it's not going to touch all the way down to the bottom because uh, it'll short itself out but you can see how it's crimped onto these connectors here rather than having uh, a screw type say like this one here having a uh, SMA at the end so the cable is directly crimped onto there and again it's a really nice clip cable for the price of uh, this antenna the uh, coaxial cable alone will uh, more than make up for the price but uh, yeah I really want to get into this so I'm thinking of cutting this on the bandsaw so this is it now I've cut it with the bandsaw you can see how this works it's just crimped on there directly with uh, the cable and you can see the center pin going up through there and this white dielectric here so now we can remove this and remove this dielectric off of the bottom and we can now see the element and here now that we can uh, measure the main driven element correctly you can see that it's 28.5 
millimeters so shorter than uh, the typical 31 or 31.5 and that's because of the width the thickness of the diameter of the main driven element if i uh, made the driven element out of some brass like this here then uh, you wouldn't get away with such a short measurement it wouldn't also be as wide on the bandwidth on the uh, network analyzer um, this would be uh, a lot narrow in that bandwidth and if you remember on the network analyzer this was quite wide again that's because of the thickness of the main driven element now i wasn't going to do this but i've decided i want to keep a couple of these as uh, reference antennas this is one of the elements and uh, you can see here that's where the center of the coax will be soldered into this is the uh, little dielectric that uh, the element sits in now what i've done i've got a couple of uh, sma connectors and uh, i've cut down this dielectric to make it a little bit shorter um, I've soldered on the pin of one of the SMA connectors onto uh, the end of the element here and I can feed that onto there and then I can feed it into this SMA connector so what I can do now is just bolt this onto uh, some of the aluminium that I'm going to cut down and I've got myself a nice little reference monopole antenna and I uh, really like that I wasn't expecting to do that with this antenna but uh, yeah quite nice now this uh, video turned out uh, a little bit differently I didn't plan on uh, making myself a couple of uh, reference antennas out of this I thought we'll just do a quick uh, tear down of this to take a look at a simple uh, monopole antenna from uh, Cisco but as you can see two very nice little uh, reference uh, monopole antennas that I can use over on the test bench and I'm getting quite a nice collection now of uh, reference antennas uh, as far as the ground plane is concerned this aluminium piece here um, you're looking as a, at a minimum of being uh, a quarter wavelength square now these are a little bit bigger than a quarter wavelength square you can uh, have the minimum a quarter wavelength or you can have it infinite basically it doesn't matter how big you make it but it needs to be a minimum of a uh, quarter wavelength square but uh, yeah two nice little antennas that we can use in the future and uh, a really simple design um, of a Cisco antenna just to you know no big gains here but uh, it's just nice to cover a blind spot uh, in uh, you know a uh, network setup something like that but uh, yeah if you see one of these don't pay too much for them because they are pretty uh, simple on the inside and of course we've got some good quality uh, coax that we can use in the future as well I mean this stuff really is nice so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a uh, thumbs up any comments or questions drop them below and hopefully you'll join me on the next one